What is going on everybody? This is King Kong 9100 and today I'm going to be talking about the 15 things I want to see in Godzilla vs Kong in no particular order. Let's get right into it. Number one, Kong is Godzilla's equal. Now, I think it would be very stupid on the studio's part to make this a one-sided beatdown. I feel like they'll just be trying to appeal to the hardcore Godzilla fans who hate Kong and Kong fans that just want to see pretty much just a curb stomp. And that's going to be a really dumb thing. I promise you that's not what's going to happen. I just feel like I want an equal battle. No one has a clear advantage over the other. Make it like, just make it a good battle, you know? Like Zemot's animation, which I will be referencing a lot in this video because of how fantastic it is. What do I mean by Kong is Godzilla's equal? Um, I do make a lot of videos on the topic of who would win and why and this and that in terms of Godzilla and Kong. And Kong does have a lot of advantages, but I'm going to be outlining just a few and I'll explain very briefly because this isn't uh, a versus video. But um, in terms of Kong being Godzilla's equal, Kong will have strength, speed, intelligence, agility, stamina slash endurance, experience, body proportions, and heart. Uh, heart, what the hell? I'll explain that later, but um, in terms of strength, D-Man summed it up best in saying that Kong is a gorilla on steroids. Gorillas can lift over 8 times their own weight, and Kong, I wouldn't be shocked if he could lift more than that because he's a kaiju and a primate. So it makes sense that he can lift over 8 times his own weight, and he's that's, the, that's why I love Kong. He's like a lightweight in terms of his weight because he could be 30,000 tons, but he would be able to lift around like... 200,000, 240,000 I should say. You know, it just makes sense. So Kong, while being smaller and lighter than Godzilla, could be just as strong if not stronger, most likely stronger, from a logical standpoint. Speed and agility is very self-explanatory. It makes sense that Kong would be the faster and the more agile, especially if he was at 30,000 tons, which I don't see him being any more than that. Intelligence, Kong is very smart. Godzilla is smart, but it just, Kong is a primate, he's bound to be smarter. Stamina slash endurance, um, Kong, it doesn't take him like a, a day or two to charge up after a long day's worth of fighting. Uh, it just takes him like five minutes and he'll get back up. That was seen in Kong Skull Island, so it makes sense that he would have that advantage. Uh, I would go into specifics on the whole evidence stuff, but before you guys want to like try to like talk about that, please just watch my other video where I actually do go in depth on all, on all of Kong's advantages and then you can debate me. Body proportions. Essentially Kong can just block and counter all of Godzilla's primary attacks. That's why he has the better body proportions. Uh, he has like, you know, a better reach anyway. So um, he's likely getting the first hit before Godzilla is combined with his speed and stuff. So it makes perfect sense as to why he has better body proportions. And finally, the weird one, heart. What on earth does that mean? Well, basically the way I see it is Kong is like Captain America, and I will be making a ton of Captain America and Avengers references in this video because that's the way I see it, is Kong is pretty much like Captain America. I feel like Kong, no matter how severely disadvantaged he is, he will not go down without a fight. He will try his best to stop Godzilla at all costs, no matter what it is or what they're fighting for. Kong and Godzilla both have very strong wills, but I just feel like Kong, um, He's always going to be the underdog in this kind of battle, so naturally it makes sense that he would have more heart than Godzilla. In certain cases, I'm not saying he has more heart, but like, you know what I mean. Kong will do his best, that's what I mean. Alright, in terms of this point, Kong being Godzilla's equal, usually what I mean, as there's a plane flying by above us, usually what I mean by this is I want Kong to be durable. And he most likely will be because it's a versus movie. They're not going to have it be a one-sided battle or Kong gets atomic breath once and that's it. Like, that's going to be very stupid. If they do that, um, I'm done. Like, the monster verse is just going to fucking suck. And, you know, the movie's going to bomb too. I promise you the movie will bomb if that happens. It would be a very, very dumb move on the studio's part if they have Kong get one-shotted or anything like that. So, in terms of them being equals, Kong will just have to be durable enough for a proper battle. And it's not like he can't be, because we haven't even seen an adult Kong yet. We have the perfect outing anyways, and that was in Kong Skull Island when it said he's still growing. He's 200 plus feet in 1995, so it makes sense that he'd be roughly around 330 feet tall by 2020. 
which is the height I want him to be now. Before I wanted him to be like 300 feet, but since we got Godzilla's new size, I figure 330 feet has always been a good height. Kong's skin would be incredibly thick by then, so have them explain that and then just move on, you know? But I want Kong to be Godzilla's equal. Kong would be able to go toe to toe with Godzilla and you can never really tell who would win because of how even they are. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see Kong get one or even five shotted by the atomic breath. If anything, uh, they should have it be shown that Kong would be immune to the atomic breath since he has no powers other than brute strength and durability. So now it would be a fair fight. I mean, he's going to be weakened by it, but it wouldn't stop him. It wouldn't kill him. Atomic Breath shouldn't be able to save Godzilla here. I want it to be known that Godzilla is forced to fight hand to hand. The Atomic Breath is rendered ineffective, especially after Kong is able to hear it, see it, and predict it and like dodge it on all accounts. Not only will Kong be able to like hear it or dodge it, but once he hears it and sees the glow, the same thing that can happen is that he can just grab Godzilla by the neck and aim his head up in the air as the Atomic Breath fires off harmlessly into the sky. I also want to see a, uh, a Godzilla Final Wars reference where Godzilla has his foot on Kong's chest, Kong is on the ground, and Godzilla is about to fire his atomic breath, but Kong just grabs his neck and aims him up in the air, and you know, it just fires off there. That would be very cool. Um, it's a versus movie, you know, so we're getting a fight, so why not make it a good one like Zemot's animation was? I'm not sure if I already said this, but I'm going to be referencing Zemon's animation as well, just because that is the best Godzilla battle I've ever seen, at least in terms of fan animations, and maybe even in the Godzilla, like, franchise in general, you know? Uh, it's very cool, and if we get anything like that, I would be super stoked. So, yeah. Number two, Godzilla isn't a bad guy. In King of the Monsters, he does look to be more heroic, but I do not want to see him turn villainous. Godzilla has always been my hero as a kid, and I would be really upset if he turned villainous. Not that I never enjoyed when he was a villain, which he has been countless times. It would be just solely due to the fact that he would be turning villainous for this movie specifically, just so Kong and Godzilla can have a reason to fight, and that'd be really cheap in my opinion. I do want to see this Godzilla turn more villainous, maybe after being nuked again and this time he's had it, but then later on he'd come back and be good for a Destroy All Monsters film. But in terms of what's happening in GVK, leave him where he is. Kong and Godzilla both being good is way more dramatic and it raises up the stakes drastically. It's also just them being true to their characters. And that leads us into our next point, number 3, Kong and Godzilla have a good reason to fight, one not purely territorial. So I've been thinking about this one for a while and I took some inspiration from some fan stories and forums but basically I just feel like Kong's main reason to fight Godzilla should be over the humans. Godzilla won't be like bad in this sense but you'll see why. So picture Godzilla ending up on Skull Island somehow and he kills a titan. Kong sees this and he's like there's an intruder on my island but what really gets him to start to try and fight Godzilla is how much damage Godzilla caused to the island. We see in Kong Skull Island the fact that damage is being caused to his island via the humans, so he tries to attack them. So he sees Godzilla causing some damage and he's gonna try and fight Godzilla. So uh, we would get a Skull Island fight and usually I would say it would first be like a stomp for Godzilla, but Kong has home field advantage. It's Skull Island, he knows how to use his terrain far better than Godzilla does. So. We would get a really cool island jungle battle and then how would it end like 1962 with both monsters falling off a cliff but then we would see an underwater battle and that would be very cool because not only is it a nod to 1962 but it answers the question of how can kong survive fighting godzilla underwater like he did in 1962 we would get an underwater battle and we would see Kong manage to bury Godzilla, but he got knocked out in the process. And so he washes up on the shore of either New York or Tokyo and the two would meet again. And the, and the setting, by the way, in this city would resemble the 1962 like American version cover of King Kong vs. Godzilla, uh, the Good Times home release, I believe. So it's that kind of setting. There's purple, bluish sky, it's dark red fire maybe it's raining and the two meet again in the city now they fight to near death it's a battle of equals you couldn't tell who's winning and who isn't 
but the winner ends up barely barely winning and he passes out after like two or three steps the loser would wake up quicker and would see the winner unconscious and it's weird though because the loser wouldn't kill the winner out of respect of knowing one needs the other to survive and so the loser would walk away first and the winner would wake up later and see the loser walking away and piece together what just happened and the winner would roar at the loser as like a roar of respect and the loser would release like a victory respect kind of roar back and the two would just part ways that would be a perfect ending in my opinion but I would have the main reason that Kong fights Godzilla the second time around is due to Godzilla unconsciously killing many, many humans. And Kong has to save them, but Godzilla would just be unaware of them. He notices them in King of the Monsters, but I don't think he'll go out of his way for them, unlike Kong, who would put his life on the line for them. So this way, both are shown as good guys. Godzilla is physically just unaware of the death he's causing, while Kong is. Number 4, Godzilla's Design. Now I summed this up in my 15 things I want to see in Godzilla King of the Monsters video, but basically I want Godzilla to have a thinner body. Show he's muscular, not fat. That means uh, his chest should protrude outwards and then curve into his body kinda. And then uh, once he gets to that dinosaur-esque dong area, it comes back out and then curves back in for the tail. And uh, the slim frame they should be going for is this uh, Tanaka Godzilla 2014 resin kit by Tanaka Studios. This right here is super, super badass. These are good proportions and Godzilla and King of the Monsters looks to have a really fat neck and overall mass. So uh, I hope they go for these proportions in GVK. I want them to keep the 2014 tail and have like longer spikes towards the middle part of the tail and then the sharp whip like tip of the tail. In terms of these like spikes I'm talking about, they're usually found on the Shin Godzilla design. I would also have Godzilla's teeth be longer, and I wish his head would resemble IDW Godzilla's with those spikes leading up to the middle of his eyebrow ridge and eye level point, and I would have his snout be longer and curve like upwards before rounding off. And I would also give him some very subtle neck spikes the way Godzilla had in Tokyo SOS and IDW Godzilla had. And you gotta give the guy some more coloration. He's like just one color and it's really like weird. So I would give him a lighter underside and the spines, they would be dark in the middle but lighter towards the edges, like silver kind of. It's very subtle yet noticeable. And I would have his claws and toes be different colors than the rest of his body. I would have them be like darker shades of silver. And I would have his gums be red and he would be bearing them a lot throughout the movie like you know an animal number five kong's design i want kong to be incredibly lean and buff like i don't want to see his upper body be round though like in these fan arts just have him have like gigantic like bulging biceps you know uh, a shredded torso where he has like an eight pack and an incredibly defined serratus like you have those love handles be very pronounced in a way that people that are jacked have them I want his upper body to have a very defined V shape where you lead down to his waist and it's very slim and then his thighs would be very muscular as would his calves. I would also have his arms be a bit longer and go past his knees. His forearms should be way furrier and thicker than the rest of his body so most bites and beam attacks go blocked with these thick forearms. Now he looks like a threat. I would also give him uh, teeth that are more jagged and sharper and have him miss like a lower fang like 2005 King Kong. Another thing I would do is I would give him a mane. King Kong 1962 had a sort of mane where the mask tappered off and uh, I'd really like to see that with this Kong. Follow the Bandai King Kong 62 figure sculpt where you see the mane and like the outline. I'd also think it'd be really cool if uh, his face was longer and resembled the 1962 face a bit more like the different color the 62 face had, as well as the texture of the face. His head should be bigger like 2005 Kong's top of his head, but have the head itself be shaped like proportional to his body, you know? And I'd give him some very badass scars, like more resembling 2005 King Kong scars. And by the end of the fight, he will have a ton of more scars, and we'll go into that later. Number six, Kong's eyes and Godzilla's eyes to remain either shrouded in shadow or Kong's eyes being kind of shiny slash, 
you know, no pupils. Now, in Zemon's animation, Kong's eyes were shrouded in shadows in some shots, and in other shots, he looked pupilless. It was also that way in 1962, so it looked really, really cool and was part of the suit's charm in my opinion, and it's even replicated on the Bandai figure where he looks like he has no pupils. I would want to see both his eyes being shrouded in shadow and his eyes looking very milky slash pupilless, but on close-up shots you would see his eyes. Um, for Godzilla, he would look badass with his eyes shrouded in shadow and slight glows of yellows for his actual eye shining. I also want to see his eyes shroud in shadow before his eyes turn blue and glow when he fires the atomic breath. Number 7, no team up. It's very, very predictable, it's incredibly cheesy. Uh, I just want this movie to have some balls, you know, be true to itself and the title, like the way the original was, you know, give us what we pay for. Don't have some lame outing where it's a clear one-sided battle and then a villain comes in for the two to team up against. Most people have been wanting that and I've seen it way too often around the fandom and I'm honestly kind of scared that something so lame like that is going to happen. Just give us what's advertised. Number 8, Kong uses weapons. Now, um, weapons like chains and stuff are just absolutely useless against Godzilla. So. I want to see Kong break pieces of mountains and buildings and throw massive 200 feet tall chunks of them at Godzilla. I don't want him to just throw it for the sake of injury, rather. They should take inspiration from Zemot's animation and have Kong throw it to try and blind Godzilla. Um, have Kong use his own blood, water, mud, anything like that to throw in Godzilla's eyes and then immediately sidestep and hit Godzilla's blind side. You can have him pick up with both arms a massive building bigger than his own body and he lifts it over his head and throws it at Godzilla. Now that would be sick and it would do some damage to Godzilla. Nothing major but enough to give Kong time. I saw this on Toho Kingdom but um, if you have Kong use those like 700 foot long like bridge cables he could totally choke Godzilla out or something or like ride him like a bull and wrap it around his neck and like try to grapple him you know and i know it sounded dirty saying that whole like uh bull riding thing but yeah i mean he did it to ramorak and it'd be sick if he did this to godzilla number nine kong uses his environment so i'm taking a lot of inspiration from zimot's fantastic animation i know but i really want to see kong incredibly agile like he was here have him jumping from the ground to a wall and then jumping off that wall about to attack godzilla you could have him swinging like in this concept art from king kong 2005 but imagine he's just swinging off a building and it's about to kick Godzilla's face. That would be super, super badass. Like, that's the way I want to see Kong use the environment. I don't want to have him use the environment in terms of just hiding from the atomic breath. Have him run around the city and go behind a few buildings and Godzilla would lose him. And then Kong would pull a Pacific Rim uprising and just jump through a building onto Godzilla's back. That would be rad as hell. Number 10. Have the fight be insanely brutal. This is pretty self-explanatory. I just want to see the kind of battle we got in Zemot's animation. I don't want to see limbs flying off, but maybe we can get like Kong have a chunk of the side of his foot like near his pinky toe, like get bitten off and part of his ear would be ripped off. Have Godzilla permanently suffer a chipped spike or two. Both monsters would be very scarred up after the main, main battle. I want to see Kong have a bloody nose and deep scars in his body and on his face. The atomic breath should burn him and by the end of the film he would have these burn wounds that Zimok gave him. I want Kong to have like a part of the side of his head burnt and his arm to be burnt exactly like how Zimok made it. Also have his knees be a bit furless in the same way as if he took like an atomic breath beam there. And his forearms, where there would be less fur in one spot due to the atomic breath burning that thick spot he uses to constantly block. I would give Godzilla some facial scars and a lot of deep body scars. In battle, I want to see the middle of his eyebrow be pierced as blood like drips onto his snout, kind of like in this really funny drawing. Um, just give Godzilla some deep cuts, you know, that'd be very sick. Number 11, have everyone doubt Kong. It would honestly resemble real life where right now everyone doubts Kong will even stand a chance. You could have Kyle Chandler and Millie Bobby Brown or and anyone in the Godzilla movies who have been in a Godzilla movie beforehand 
have them doubt Kong hardcore. Especially after the first battle on Skull Island and the underwater battle where Kong would wash up on the shore of New York or Tokyo. Even have the imagery of Kong looking up at Godzilla's gigantic hulking mass when he's on the ground. Have Godzilla look unstoppable like he's about to decimate Kong. But then, the two would fight and to everybody's surprise, Kong stands a chance. You have Godzilla himself be shocked at Kong lifting Godzilla over his head and swinging him from his tail like a thousand feet away. Have Godzilla shocked at Kong not falling apart and getting back up after he suffers a massive tail whip that crushes him into a building like Thanos and Iron Man. This leads us to our next point. Number 12, show Kong's heart. Kong should be the Captain America of this universe. He has heart, he won't go down without a fight no matter how much of a disadvantage he's at. And I just wanna see a moment like from Avengers Infinity War. Imagine after a long battle, Godzilla is trying to crush Kong who is on his knees and Kong is holding onto Godzilla's leg. He catches Godzilla's swinging arm and the two are looking at each other. God looking down onto a mortal before Kong releases a battle cry and starts to lift Godzilla up off the ground. This massive test of strength, Kong shows that he will not go down. Godzilla roars and Kong is tail whipped on the face or beat into submission. That would be like the best moment in Godzilla's franchise. Imagine the music and someone crying, screaming no, and the entire scene is just played like in King Kong 2005. That would be such a cool moment. Like, that's also just what this battle is. One kaiju at a severe disadvantage against the god, but he has the heart to keep going. It's why we love Anguirus, and it's why everyone would love King Kong. This would show the route his character is going. Number 13, have good music. You know, in scenes like where Kong would show his heart, you would have the tragic music like an Infinity War play, and when Godzilla is angry, you would have scary music play. In the battle, it would be very intense and just very, very heated music playing. Um, Godzilla's theme and King Kong 2005 slash maybe his original theme has to play at least once. That would be very cool. But I need to hear Godzilla's theme or someone's gonna get stabbed. Number 14, roars. Have King Kong roar like deeper, but some of his cries would sound exactly like 1962's King Kong. Have his war cry when he has his Captain America versus Thanos moment be exactly like King Kong 2005's when he released his last roar. And I also want some of Godzilla's roars to be the 1954 roar. I want to hear more of his injured sounds as well. Number 15, Godzilla's atomic breath smoke. Now this is a slight nitpick, but I'm so glad Godzilla's eyes light up when he fires his atomic breath now. I do wish they would follow Shin Godzilla and Godzilla Final Wars where before he fires his breath, there's a blue flame like around his mouth. And then they would follow IDW Godzilla where when he finishes firing the breath, he would have a flame coming out of his mouth and out of his nostrils. That would be super badass to me. But might as well give you guys some bonus points. Number 16, Kong versus Rodan. Now, assuming Rodan is Godzilla's equal in 2019, I would have Kong fight Rodan in this movie. If Rodan is shown giving Godzilla a really tough fight, we would know that Kong means business if he defeats Rodan. Rodan's magma wings would also be enough proof that Kong is impervious to high temperatures. And him being agile enough to fight Rodan and winning, uh, no death obviously, would be the perfect amount of proof we need to know that he can fight Godzilla now. I just want to see him fight a monster bigger than he is, so this is like solidified. Number 17, Godzilla and the tree. 
you all know it would be super badass if we had Kong shove a gigantic tree or a massive chunk of building into Godzilla's mouth and then Godzilla atomic breaths the shit out of it and the rubble hits Kong's chest. It would be super cool and such a funny nod to 1962. And the last one, Kong becomes king. Show that Kong is able to take Godzilla the distance. The fact that he stood such a chance and gave Godzilla such a fight makes him earn the title as king. Godzilla is king of the monsters, but Kong would be king of Skull Island, God of Skull Island, the eighth wonder of the world, anything like that. But now he'd be able to be called King Kong in later Monsterverse movies, both in the title and in the films themselves. So that was it guys, the, well now 18 things that I want to see in Godzilla vs Kong 2020. I have to make it clear that I'm not like a massive, like I'm not gonna like suck off Kong, but I just need you guys to know that I really just want to see a good battle. I want it to be equal. If Kong is 200 feet, that's not going to be equal because Kong, he's severely disadvantaged. He's smaller, his arms are, are shorter than they would be if it was an equal battle. I just want a good equal battle like in the Zemot animation. So go ahead and give me your thoughts on what you guys want to see in this movie. And uh, yeah, just leave it down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is King Kong 9100 signing out. See ya.